Well, greetings. It's the weekend and this is your update. And where did all this rain come from? I mean, this is very reminiscent of New England where I grew up, where it rains all the time. You don't have to sprinklers or anything like that. And uh, it's been insane and I'm not complaining. It's been great. But my goodness, this has just been a lot of precipitation. But anyway, on to the weekend update. Uh, this week over on the Drums West uh, YouTube channel, we did a short on linear drumming, which is something that we did a longer form video on a little while ago. Uh, but I wanted to, you know, re-explore that kind of in the short format. So here is that video in its entirety. Talking to you today about some linear drumming. Linear drumming is when nothing hits at the same time. Bass drum on one and three, snare drum two and four, hi-hats on the end. Double up on the bass. Double up on everything. Dave Garibaldi from Tower of Power made this popular style back in the 70s, the Oakland style. And then over on the Boomer Facebook page this week, we shared another one of the More to Start, Fewer to Quit uh, newsletters. And this one was written by uh, Dr. Charles Mangini. And uh, Charlie actually is a friend of ours. Uh, if you've been following the podcasting store since the beginning, uh, we sponsored some of his podcast, uh, which is Band Talk with Charlie Mangini and Friends. And uh, he also co-wrote the Essential Elements book and is president, uh, excuse me, Professor Emeritus of uh, Vandercook College. So he knows of what he speaks and he had a bunch of tips for recruiting and retention especially over the summer and then leading into the school year and i thought one of the coolest tips that he had is at the beginning of rehearsal have some music playing it doesn't even matter what it is as long as you as the teacher are passionate about it and then take 30 seconds to explain to the kids why that matters to you and uh, he talked about how uh, john fogarty um, said that he had a teacher who did this and he just got so excited about music and thought that's what i want to do with my life so if you haven't seen that yet, follow the QR code. It's a really, really good read. And then over on the view from the road this week, yes, there was a view from the road. School's out, but I was still out doing a run around at the Thompson School District. And this leads into, you know, what it is that I do, what my job is. And I'll explain it here in this clip. Why am I doing all of this? Well, it's uh, something that I've thought about a lot, uh, which is doing the job that you have to do when you have the time available to do it. People you know, have asked me, you know, what exactly is your job? What do you do? And my response is always, I do whatever needs to be done right now. And uh, today, this was not necessarily what I was planning on doing today, but that doesn't matter. It's not about me. It's about making sure that the programs that I serve have everything that they need when they need it. So uh, here I am out on the road again, uh, twice in one week. And then over on the podcasting store medium page, uh, this week's essay was how six hours staring blankly at a computer screen was some of the most productive time that I had. And this was from an article that I read that was talking about uh, kind of the creative process of uh, people like Einstein and Mozart. No, I'm not comparing myself to them. Um, but how they would lean into blocks that they had in their productivity. Rather than fighting against it, they would do things like Mozart would eat a good meal or go for a carriage ride. And Einstein, I love this part, would literally just lay on the floor and look at the ceiling. And this reminded me of back when I worked at Cornet Music on Long Island, I had been tasked with rewriting the rental contract for the store. And I spent six hours of an eight hour shift just staring at a blank computer screen because I just couldn't do it. And then finally inspiration struck. And the article that I read just reminded me of that because sometimes you just gotta let it be and eventually the inspiration will come to you and that's how you can move forward. So if you haven't read that yet, give it a read. I thought it was a pretty good one. That is your weekend update. As always, thank you so much for watching. Comment below, like, share, subscribe. We'll catch up with you next time. If you enjoyed the weekend update, do me a favor and follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channels, or visit our websites. This is Drew with Boomer Music Company and thepodcastingstore.com. Thanks for listening.